sucking chest wound is life-threatening and should be sealed as quickly as possible. Note that this medic has already taken infection control precautions. Sucking chest wounds will have a sucking or hissing sound when the casualty inhales, but all penetrating chest wounds should be treated as if they were sucking chest wounds. If there is an exit wound, it will have to be sealed too, but treat the larger wound first. Here, you can uncover the wound because the clothing is not stuck to it. If the clothing were stuck to the wound, or if you were in a chemical environment, you would not uncover the wound. Do not attempt to clean the wound under any circumstances. You may use the casualties hand to cover the wound. Prepare the field dressings outer wrapper to provide an occlusive dressing over the wound. Other plastics, foil, or layers of Vaseline gauze could also be used. Ensure that this dressing is at least two inches wider than the wound. If it is not, it could be sucked right into the wound. Now apply the wrapper's inner surface directly to the wound as the casualty exhales without touching the inner surface any more than necessary. Next, tape three sides of the dressing to the casualty, leaving one side unsealed. As the casualty inhales, the dressing seals the wound. This prevents air from entering. During exhalation, the free side will act as a flutter valve to release air that is trapped in the thoracic cavity. Place a field dressing over the occlusive seal. Wrap the ends around the casualty's chest. Tie a non-slip knot on top of the seal as the casualty breathes out. Tie rather loosely so as not to interfere with the casualty's breathing. Continue to monitor the flutter valve because the free side of the dressing may stick to the chest or the dressing may be drawn into the wound causing the valve to fail. Now carefully position the patient on the injured side until he can be transported. As an emergency measure, if you don't have tape, or if the tape won't stick to the casualty due to blood or perspiration, you can still apply an occlusive dressing to an open chest wound. By placing the seal over the wound, and securing it with a field dressing. Do not secure it too tightly. You want him to be able to breathe. Again, place the casualty on his injured side. This method is not ideal, but now the casualty can breathe more comfortably and with less danger. These wounds are life-threatening, but casualties can recover with proper help.